let's go a bit, go ahead and bring in the posh teacher, Carla DeVecchi. She is the founder and the owner. Carla, great to have you with us. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, I need to start because I'm like, what is the posh teacher? <laughs> well, posh teacher is twofold. It is, the concept was, I want to elevate teachers. I want to put them in the limelight uh, because I think they really need to be presented to society and show the contributions they've made. And on the other aspect of it, I, the fun part of it is I think we need to bring more fashion and glam into the world of education. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of how this all began. <laughs> You definitely have some pizzazz. I'm looking at your tree behind you. I'm like, how fun is that? Uh, but now, are you also a teacher? Yes, I've been uh, teaching for over 25 years. And uh, hence, that's the, the drive that's brought this, uh, you know, the, this platform that I've created is through all these experiences I've had in, in the teaching world. And so with that, um, I do know some teachers and in the beginning, they want to be stylish, but then like once they get into teaching, it's like, what is comfortable for me to make it through the day? Exactly. Exactly. And, uh, you know, th th there's things that you can still look good. And actually, I did a, a video for teachers on looking good on Zoom. You know, you can still and, and students notice those things that through the years I've I've noticed they pay attention to not just what you're teaching, but how you present yourself. So, but do you feel like you also kind of have to be up to date on pop culture and fashion to help you relate to your students? Definitely, you do, and that makes it easier in the classroom teaching them. Um, I interviewed a teacher actually from California, uh, Dr. Buffoni, and he actually got involved doing TikToks with his students, and that made uh, actually he's a TikTok star now. Dr. Buffoni is amazing, but that was a connection that he made with his students, and I think. Again, I was able to share this on my platform to bring these little stories out that, you know, we really can't, sometimes teachers don't get to share all that. So with that, uh, Carla DeBakey with us, she's the founder and owner for Posh Teacher. You have a YouTube page as well, in which you do interview a lot of other educators. How did that come about? Well, actually, uh, you know, from my own personal experience, uh, having met so many teachers and witnessed all the things that they do in, in their teaching life, I felt that I wanted to bring that out to society and really share their stories because their commitment to the world of education is phenomenal. And there's a lot of things that we don't see. You know, education, I think, as you know, sometimes has been pushed aside and hasn't been elevated to where it should be. And so what I want to do is I literally want to talk to as many teachers as I can to really share their story and have people see all the things that they, they do, even behind the scenes. Uh, in the world of education, especially right now with, with COVID, uh, there, there's been a lot of things happening in that world. Yeah, because before the pandemic, uh, a lot of people that maybe even didn't have kids, we all thought, oh, you guys just work like seven to three and you get summers off. But it really is a full-time post-school hours as well. You're working so much more. But uh, with that, when it comes to COVID and the pandemic, how has this been for you as a teacher? Uh, definitely. I mean, it's, it's a change in your world, in your lifestyle. Uh, you know, we started out teaching completely virtual and just from that aspect, you have to create your space <laughs> at, at home and you have to pray that the dog doesn't bark when the UPS guy goes by. <laughs> because, uh, so there's those things that, uh, again, are challenges in your workspace. Uh, and also keeping students engaged on Zoom. Uh, I think uh, you really have to get more creative. Uh, the positive aspect though I felt is that you, I feel like I'm more one-on-one -on -one with students sometimes on Zoom. You know, when they need to meet with you after class, 
it's it's more face to face and, and and you don't have distractions that the school would have uh so there's been some positive but again children do need to interact and so going into the uh, going back to school hybrid which is we go back a few days a week has has been good for them and uh for teachers too to see our students but again a little challenging as you know <laughs> Has it um, also helped your students kind of relate to you a little bit more if the dog is barking, if the kid is crying, because then they can see you as an individual and not just a teacher? Completely. Uh, I don't mean just a teacher, by the way. I don't, I don't, it's okay. <laughs> no, I totally, yes. Actually, and I can do more, show more things the other day. You know, I teach high school and we were talking something uh, and, and I threw in Star Wars and literally here in my workspace, I have my little Yoda. <laughs> so I pulled this out and they're like, oh my gosh, Senora. You know, I, I, they were not expecting it. So you can do really fun, unexpected things. And yes, they can uh, relate to you a little bit more in your world yeah. so with that too um what's been the response uh, to you from parents during this time are they appreciating you and your fellow teachers a lot more Definitely. Uh, we had virtual parent teacher conferences and uh, you don't know how much feed positive feedback we got. The parents are like, well, I don't know how you do this. Thank you so much. Uh, and, and especially a lot of kids have been challenging, you know, mentally feeling, uh, you know, depression, a little sad. And so they're like, thank you for, for just reaching out to my child. So very positive feedback. And uh, yes, the parents have been great. Really have been. Carla DeVake with us here on the Make a Cash. She is not only a teacher, she is the posh teacher, the founder and the owner. When did you start your company? Uh, I started about a year and a half ago, and um, it's just been a, a very exciting ride. Uh, you know, for the fashion aspect, I have, I'm a certified image consultant, and uh, I've been, I have a, a book in progress, and, you know, talking about how, you know, your, your clothes uh, really say a lot about you, and I'm focusing, obviously, on the educational world. And so that kind of triggered that, and also, um, you know, just reaching out to teachers. And I have a background in journalism, uh, from the University of Michigan. And I think this is where I was able to bring that out a little bit, and as well as my teaching background. So it, it's, it's created a great mix. I've had positive feedback from uh, teachers that wanna, who wanna share their world with me. And it, it's been so, so exciting. Who's been the most inspirational teacher that you've been able to connect with since you've started this platform? Wow, don't make me pick. <laughs> Let me know. Okay, um, give us a, give us two and then tell us where we can go and watch all of the interviews. I like that. Uh, I'm going to share actually the the most recent one I just um, interviewed, one of the most recent ones is uh, Evelyn and she's a teacher that come started out actually she's from the Dominican Republic. She calls it the DR. And her journey is fascinating. I mean, she came from a very small town, uh, you know, kind of a challenging upbringing. And then uh, just the, the, the amazing stories that she shared, what got her to become a teacher, literally coming to America and sharing what she went through. And then the personal stories, she even shares a letter from a student that she taught in kindergarten and is now a senior in high school and literally texted her, write us the text on our interview and it'll make you cry. So you better have a box of tissues when you check out Evelyn's uh, interview. Uh, again, those things, when I saw her, after she read that, we were teary eyed and I said, this is what teaching is all about. So those are those stories that you, you want to hear them and they really will just elevate these amazing, beautiful teachers. Uh, I'll share one more. I have a teacher that is a former teacher and she sells candles uh, from the Chalkboard Candle Company, which I have on my website. And she donates part of the proceeds from her sales, puts them actually in a drawing and she picks a teacher's name every time she's ready to do a drawing. And that teacher gets a check in the mail from part of her sales. And she said, teachers don't do many things for themselves. You know, a lot of times we're given money, but it's for the classroom or your, you know, something related to school. She's like, teachers need to be admired and acknowledged. This check is for you. So she does that with her company. So great things, great things. 
It really is a beautiful format in which they give back to educators uh, throughout the country because we do know that you really are uh, the future of our country because you're helping to guide and to lead and to teach the next generation that's going to run our country. And so with that, how important has it been for you to be able to connect with these educators and how has it changed during the COVID time? Has that conversation changed a lot? Definitely, it has changed. Uh, first of all, you know, a lot of them have shared um, a lot of more challenges that they've had in the profession. And uh, sadly, some have decided to retire uh, due to the circ health circumstances. Uh, also, it's their learning styles have uh, definitely evolved. I interviewed a first grade teacher that teaches obviously virtually and has told me, you know, it can be really exhausting to be on zoom all day with uh you know with the first graders so there has been a lot of uh changes in the profession uh but I, I have to say these teachers have been troopers they really we've supported each other and um you know have have worked through this and they've looked at the uh i guess you know the the funny stuff about it, the entertaining things about it. First grade teacher, quick story. She uh, said one day her student mid class said, Oh, you know, um, I have a little tooth. And she showed it on Zoom. And then you have 20 little faces on Zoom showing their teeth <laughs> and uh, their loose teeth. So, again, we just have to embrace, she said, embrace the little things that we have right now. Oh, that is so adorable. And, but um, there are a lot of teachers that are leaving the profession right now. Have you been able to get your vaccine? I have got my first dose and my second, second one is uh, in two weeks. So I'm really, and actually I posted that on my Instagram, <clears throat> excuse me, when I got my first dose, because I really wanted to support and show, you know, that we are here for everybody and uh, we're ready to take on the challenges. Uh, so uh, yes, I'm looking forward to getting my second dose and uh, you know, being and feeling a little a little safer because I, I teach around a, a little bubble right now. I'm, on a, I'm surrounded by a little bubble. And so um, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and with that too, uh, a snow day today or no? Well, I'm on break. So I'm kind of gypped. I got gypped of a snow day. <laughs> So it's winter break, so, you know, everybody is uh, home anyway. <laughs> and, you know, and we do know that uh, it was like, oh, our snow day is going away. But we have talked to a few superintendents on the show, and they're saying, no, there are still going to be snow days because of just that, especially the hybrid model, um, some coming in, some going out, and them not learning, and this, that learning. So there are still going to be snow days right I now. I know. I know. I'm so excited. Yeah. We, they, they're important to us. You don't know how important. <laughs> well, with that, Carla, uh, where can people find out more information about you? And now, are you running a store off of your Instagram? Is that how it works? I have a, I have a website, so you can go straight to the website. It's poshteacher1.com. And you can find all the glam and posh things that you need to look good, and not just for teachers. Uh, and uh, I make my famous pom-pom earrings. I'm also a knitter on the side, so I've done a few uh, little things with both knitting live. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Posh Teacher Number One, and on YouTube, Posh Teacher. You can look at amazing interviews, and I, we'd love you to subscribe and support us. We really appreciate it. It really is fun what you're doing as well, but I'm like, how do you find the time on top of teaching as well? <laughs> it's it's challenging, and but you know what? It actually sparks my creativity. Being a teacher helps actually my, my platform. So it all kind of just comes together, and uh, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. I do an after-school video quite often on my Instagram and share just some facts about my teaching day, and then you know a little bit things in my shop that uh, teachers might. Want. I, I will say I'm kind of glad that this is uh, my last day working at home. I'll be heading back into the studio because I'm looking at your backdrop and it is so adorable. Oh. I need to up my game. Oh my God. No, I've, I've worked on it. Well, thank God my sign didn't fall off. I have a sign there. <laughs> on one interview, it was like this. I was like, oh, please don't fall today. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks great. It's been so fun having you with us. We appreciate it.
Thank you, Ronnie. I appreciate it. And thank you for supporting those teachers out there. Thank you. Oh, and thank you for being a teacher. I thank think uh, a lot of parents are much more appreciative right now. And also, I think it's going to be a little bit easier to get some of those millages passed following COVID-19 when teachers are asking for more money because you really are the heroes throughout this entire uh, pandemic. And uh, I will say, though, go back to the old math. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of that way too. <laughs> so many parents are like, one plus one is two. <laughs> I agree. That complicated stuff, I don't, I don't get that either. <laughs> well, Carla, thank you again for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ronnie. Appreciate it. Bye-bye, everyone.